in this first item we're given a frame that has a fixed end at the left and then it has a pin support up at the top at the beam column joint and then the beam just cantilevers out from there. It supports 400 pounds per foot. We're given a moment diagram that goes along with this statically indeterminate uh, situation and along with that we're given a proposed deflected shape that uh, someone has guessed at how this thing might respond. And we're asked to list the strengths and areas of improvements of the proposed uh, deflected shape. So for instance, as I would uh, look at this situation, I'd say well, let's run down the various requirements. One of them being in no particular order we have to meet the boundary conditions. And so boundary conditions in this case are that at A we've got a fixed end so that means we have to have then no translation either vertical or horizontal and no rotation and we do so okay so that at least one strength we, is, we satisfy the boundary conditions at A. At B we're not supposed to have any up or down movement okay so joint B does not move up or down and we're not supposed to have any left right movement so that actually the, the shape shows that we do have a delta that's not equal to zero in the x direction at B and that's not good. So that's actually an area of improvement here that boundary condition at B only partially satisfied. Okay, so that's one critical thing. And then we have no boundary conditions out here at C, so we won't go anywhere with that. Right? We also, of course, need to meet moment curvature relationship. So that means that on the compression side of things we've got the concave either up or you know concave up or concave down. So let's see what we've got here. We've got at the base of the column we have curvature that should be like so there and like that. So we have reverse curvature and we have that in the column and it's in the correct direction that matches the moment diagram. So that's good. For the cantilever beam segment we have curvature that should be going down. This is a negative moment that's indicated there and that's not what we've got. So we got a problem here. We have a strength in that we do have reverse curvature in the column but we have the wrong curvature in the don't ask me why I spelled it out this time and I used a symbol in the old, other one wrong curvature in the beam. And let's see, so that's moment curvature. Then <clears throat> we also need to have no axial deformations. In no particular order here, it's just kind of how I remember them as I go. And we sort of already have this set up with a column, so that's good. There's no axial deformation in the column. However, note here for BC, it would sure look like we got some translation of joint B, but we don't have any translation at C. So we have axial shortening in the beam. Looks like the beam is having all kinds of problems here. And then the last one is that we should have uh, rigid joints that remain unchanged, meaning they don't have any relative deformation. They have displacement but not deformation. So we only have one joint to really look at here. That would be right at the beam column intersection. That's at originally starts off at 90 degrees. Looks like after rotation and the in, inappropriate translation that we end up with um, a problem. There, or it's not a problem. We actually have a good thing. So, so the rigid joint remains unchanged and that kind of rounds out everything except for you could say well once again we got curvature problems here we do have an equilibrium with the joint problem that's just directly related to the wrong curvature in the, the beam and that would be at B and that's because when you look at the curvatures that are drawn they look like that 
and that implies that we have bending moments that physically act in those two directions and that's not in equilibrium they need to be in sum to zero and they do not so the sum of the moments not equal to zero that's a problem that's really a directly associated with the wrong curvature in the beam so what should it actually look like well I don't want to freehand it I want to do it the same way that I expect you to do it so let me get out the French curve we've got curvature that bends the column initially away to the left of the beam and then it's curvature is going to bend it back sorry well away from the to the left of the original position of the column that is then we've got curvature that's going to take us back to the joint nice smooth transition there and then we've got to repeat the 90 degrees but rotated not translated and that forms that's pretty good that forms then a tangent line or construction line for the curvature of the beam which now is going to be all curving away from that tangent line this is highly exaggerated if we actually had something that bent all the way down to the ground like that that would be a probably a very serious problem but qualitatively then we've got the right kind of thing then maybe I need to extend that just a little bit so that it um, doesn't have any shortening to it but that's for, for the most part a reasonable qualitative deflected shape for that particular situation